So I'm going to talk this morning a little bit about kind of where I came from in terms of my illustration career. So I've been an illustrator for almost 30 years, um, doing comic books, graphic novels, painted graphic novels, um, very much within the fantasy, science fiction genres, superhero genre, um, and have had a measure of success over those 30 years that's allowed me to make my living really solely doing this for that entire time. Work. Um, I remember when I first started out, I was in New York and I had an advertising portfolio and very quickly realized I hated advertising. I didn't want to do it at all. And that I wouldn't be able to compete with people who love doing advertising. So I moved over to where my real passion was, my true, where my true love was, which was uh, science fiction and fantasy illustration and comics. So in science fiction and fantasy, there's kind of a, there's kind of a family feeling of artwork that art directors are going to respond to and that fans are going to respond to. Um, and within that, the sort of the, the closer you cleave to that, the, the, the sweet spot of that, I always think of James Cameron. He's an example in movies of this. He's a guy who clearly loves to make the kind of movies that people want to produce and people want to see. Like, like a David Lynch is more problematic. James Cameron's like in that sweet spot and David Lynch is more out, outside of it. I always felt like for me, I was fairly in close to that sweet spot where what audiences wanted, what art directors wanted and what I wanted all kind of synced up real nicely. Um, when I started to have problems was when I didn't like living in that little sweet spot anymore. That happened again, that happened about 10 years ago. I just, I was done with it and I couldn't explain why I was done with it. Um, but the, the hunger that I'd always had to be there just went away. And in searching for where it went, I found my passion had moved. So if this is the sweet spot, my passion had moved over to here. My first instinct was, oh, it's over here. Okay, so I'm going to shift my I'm going to shift to to a career where I'm in the sweet spot again. So, okay, I'm really enjoying landscape painting. And that's not inside the that isn't isn't inside the the world of comic books clearly, but there is a world of landscape painting gallery artists. And so I just shift over to that. I'll be right in that sweet spot again, and I can build I can just keep going like nothing happened. I'll just shift my reputation over from comics over to landscape painting and no harm no foul it's all good it just didn't work that way what i realized was my art wasn't didn't fit a sweet spot anymore that's what i realized my art was all over the place and i didn't know where it was going to land was it going to be landscape painting i love doing it but is it what I want to do exclusively and in this very narrow focused way. So I'm exploring, I'm exploring this landscape painting. I'm exploring figure working from the figure. I'm exploring drawing in a way that I haven't for a long time. Um, I'm trying different subject matter. I'm trying painting in oil. I'm trying using charcoal, watercolor. Um, my, so my subject matter is all over the place and my approach is all over the place. That does not lend itself to this, to being in that sweet spot. Um, and it's caused my very solid identity as an illustrator to fall apart. It really has fallen apart at this point. It was hard for me to, to know what to do with that. There's a part of me that just wanted to just force it back, say, okay, enough of this. I know how to do this. I just have to get passionate about it again. But that's not the kind of thing you can force. It's sort of like being in love with somebody and then you fall out of love and then you say, oh, but I really, it'd be much easier and better for everybody if I stay with this person. So I should just figure out how to fall in love with them again. It just doesn't work that way. 
um, that's the bind I find myself in. The the more that I that I explore um, other ways of painting and and develop a connection with my art that that allows for the cr the passion of the craft to reestablish itself. The less I may be able to find a little some other little wedge that I can work in. Uh, I'm becoming more of a David Lynch, just maybe not in the skill level.